Hello, I'm JW. Another video about some old items, and these are not actually electrical themselves, but certainly are electrical related. Now you've obviously uh, probably seen those fuse wires, which uh, typically were supplied on those small cards with three values on each card. And this isn't specific about those, but uh, what we have actually got here is this block. And as you can see, it's essentially the uh, printing block for some uh, fuse wire cards. And this happens to be the Wilex uh, variety there. And these are sort of on these bits of plywood. Whether that's uh, how they were originally or not is another story, but uh, certainly the uh, metal block is on there. And uh, I've actually got two of these. Here's the other one. They're both actually identical. One has a bit of uh, pitting on the front plate there, but otherwise they are identical. So let's have a closer look at these and uh, see if we can uh, actually print something with them. Now here's the two blocks here, and uh, they both uh, print the same thing. As you can see, it's just got the Wilex logo here and uh, tin copper fuse wire. And I'll just reverse these so you can see them the correct way round. And you see the three values we've got here is obviously just your 5, 15 and 30, so pretty much the standard uh, set there. Got the wire gauges as well. And obviously it's got uh, four uh, rewirable fuse control units at the bottom. And the, uh, say, both the same, but uh, this one, as you see, is a very thin metal plate there. It's also got this stamp about Phoenix inspection on the side. I have no idea quite what that's supposed to be meaning and fairly lightweight. This one, on the other hand, you see the plate is considerably thicker, although of course the plywood block is the same. Uh, quite why the uh, massive variation in thickness is uh, certainly not clear, so it's sort of been uh, trimmed down or something. But uh, in any case, uh, that's what we've got there. Now I thought I might try and uh, print something off of this, so uh, I've got a bit of black paint here, and uh, I think we'll just use this one because this has a bit of pitting, you see, on the actual metal being the, uh, that's the thinner one. So rather sort of rough texture. This isn't too bad, it's uh, say virtually flat. So try applying some of this uh, paint we've got here and then uh, we'll just shove a bit of uh, paper on the top. Now no idea how well this is going to go, so uh, of course the results of course may vary. So let's just uh, apply that over there and there will be a bit too much on that, but uh, well, we'll uh, soon find out when we uh, apply the paper to it. So I've just got some ordinary, uh, fairly thick paper this actually, but I've just got some paper there. Just press that down. Okay, so there we go. So it was a bit uh, smudged there, but then this is obviously paint and not ink, so uh, not necessarily the uh, best material. Let's just try that again on the uh, other side of that paper. Okay, so there we go. So obviously it was intended to print on a card, and you've got your little uh, hanging hole at the top. And uh, also you would just uh, attach your wire in the various holes. Now, it does uh, appear to this that uh, you'd have to either cut slots in it, or uh, actually uh, just sort of cut the edges, or it would be trimmed around uh, later on. So uh, presumably there was some kind of cutting die which uh, went with this, and that would also punch the hole in the top as well. But uh, certainly it's uh, quite readable. So you've got your 5, 15 and 30 amps there, and obviously the uh, standard wire gauge listed alongside. Now I've no idea how old these things are, and they uh, didn't come with any kind of date identification on them, and uh, so I'd imagine they're pretty old, just the fact that they have fuse wire on them, which uh, of course is something which is rarely used these days. But uh, there we go, so uh, more uh, electrical related items, although uh, not electrical themselves. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.